Hello guys, uh, Samurai here. So uh, today I'm beginning of the series we're doing on betting and com um, predicting. So firstly we're going to start with rugby. And first we have to go to uh, the radio station of Fnatic 4. So um, Samurai here, um, today we're looking at the Bulls vs Crusaders feature this weekend. The Bulls losing 7 games in a row and the Crusaders unbeaten and also 7 time franchise winners. And firstly we have Glenn Jackson. Hello, Glenn. How are you? Well, Sam, I'm going to be brutally honest. Uh, quite frankly, the Bulls have a better chance of getting pregnant via wind pollination than beating the Crusaders on Saturday afternoon. Yet another defeat against a team like the Sunwolves. <sighs> that performance was just horrible. To tell you the truth, I'd rather swim in Poch Dam with a paper cut on my nipple than watch that game again. I really thought that the Bulls learned by now that excuses will definitely not help them win the game. And secondly, um, Cockroach, our fellow co-worker, what do you have to say about this weekend's fixture? Yes, yes, okay, so I'm Cockroach here and, uh, you know, you just cannot beat the Bulls, okay? Because, you know, we have people like Burger Oudendal and Handgrijp Pollard, you know, you just, you just cannot beat Pilla. Have you ever heard of beating the Pilla? Back to you, Samurai. So guys, betting, when it comes to rugby, you have to look at the main aspects that makes a team successful or franchise better than the other franchises. So firstly, we're looking at teams, we're looking at coaches, history, venues, and also the main point support. Firstly, teams. As you can see on the team sheet, we can identify star players. Like, let's start with the Brumbies team. And we can see there, David Pocock, probably one of the best features in the world at the moment. We can identify him as a star player. Also, another great player. We can see the hooker, Stephen Moore. Scott Sio and the whole front row with Ben Alexander. Great front row from the Brumbies. Four star players in the Brumbies team. Now the Reds team, we can identify James Slipper, Rob Simmons, and let's say Quade Cooper. So it's three star, three against four, or four against four if you identify another star player. We can clearly see that these themes are evenly matched but in this case the Brumbies having playing having home advantage will definitely beat them in Canberra so secondly we're looking at coaches like if you have great coaches like Nick Mallard or Keith Christie if you don't know Keith Christie he was the most successful Springbok coach ever I haven't lost game unfortunately died of cancer in 95 World Cup but also great coach yeah and if you have a coach, like, you know... Uh, right, boys. Today we tackle and tackle. Don't even think about scoring. Your brains can only take so much. Okay, boys. Bocco on three. You get the picture. I don't think I have a rugby player. I'm going to listen to what he's saying. Yeah. So thirdly, history. Um, if you look at the... Let's say a team sheet, the Brahmis here. The Brahmis of the, versus the Reds. The Brahmis are way more successful winning the Super Rugby player more times than the Reds. The Reds winning in 2011, yet the Brumbies are way more successful than the Reds are. But that doesn't count for anything if the star players doesn't feature in the game. So history is really important. Um, yeah, so it depends on the day and the timing of everything. So it's really important. So fourthly, the venue. If you go to New Zealand, Dunedin, the house of pain. Literally, the house of pain. Like, that doesn't sound good at all, you know. And even like the Eden Park in New Zealand, Nobody has ever won there since 1990. You know, that the All Blacks are so undefeated there that no team has ever stood clearly there. Finally, support. If you don't have support at all, how is the team going to play well? You know, if you look at the franchises that are really successful, the support are always there. And we want to go see great players with great skills. And that's the main reason why we're there. And um, yeah, so support, really important. And that's why we are all loving rugby. Thank you guys for watching and um, please subscribe and comment anything and tell us everything you want to do and a special thanks 
to Glenn Jackson for this um, opportunity and for my whole Fanatic 4 group and uh, yeah, have a nice evening guys. Mm-hmm.